Broke college kid had zero dollars and massive student debt. So he sold his textbooks, bought Bitcoin at 100K. Okay, so today's gonna be a pretty exciting video. I'm gonna show you how I use Cloud Code here to run kind of my new community, the Ninth Brain. This is a place where we want to come together do use our AI skills to try to make some money online together. So you can apply down here if you want to join. Uh, but today this video is going to be more focused on the Claude code agent and how I use that to run this, uh, this uh, community now. Uh, so basically I have created like a workflow.md file in Claude code. We're going to go take a look at that afterwards. But for now, these are the three main workflows I have uh, set up for the agent. So the first one is uh, we have a sign up right on the ninthbrain.com and the agent uh, when I run it it uh, goes into our database uh, on Vercel we have a neon database uh, it checks for new signups and if that is true it's gonna generate a discord invite using a discord mcp and create a unique link and we're gonna use our email mcp to send the welcome email to that address from the database and with the new link so people can join so that is automated. We also have a second workflow. This is the marketing automation. We do some research using Claude Code's web search and fetch. And we write a script that I have a formula for. We generate a video with sound uh, and we edit the video and we upload it to YouTube to do some marketing around the community. Uh, and of course the agent can fix and maintain the website if you wanted to. I'm gonna add more workflows in the future, but for now, this is kind of the one I wanted to take kind of the, the load of checking at least the, the database and the marketing from my uh, shoulders. Uh, so I think we're gonna start by just showing you how everything works in practice here in Cloud Code, right? So if I do slash MCP here, you can see we have a lot of MCP servers. I'm gonna blow this up a bit so you can see a bit better. Uh, but you can see we have a Discord MCP server in 11 labs, we have Gemini, we have GitHub, we have Gmail, uh, we have a Kling to make video music for the background music, here's the database, and we have a Replicate and a YouTube. So we use 10 MCP servers uh, for the agent. So uh, if you go to cursor, you can see here I have something called, uh, let me just close this, Workflow MD, right? So this is everything uh, the agent is supposed to do. So every time we run this, it's gonna read through this workflow file here before it starts. So you can see we also have like some kind of history here. So the previous uh, ID it processed in the database was 109. So 110 is gonna be the next one. So this was this morning. So I'm just gonna go to our website and I'm gonna put in my name just to show you how this works now. So let's say I apply here, put in my name, my email address, and my Discord username, and why I want to join. And I'm just gonna click Request Access, and you can see that was sent right. So this should now be in our database. And as we know from the, from the next, it's gonna check ID from 110 and up. And I'm not gonna go through like, uh, we have some, yeah, I'm not gonna go through every single thing here, but you can see we have some very detailed instructions in our workflow MD file here, so how the agent should operate. So for example, you can see what kind of MCP servers it needs to run, query database, Discord server, uh, Gmail server, and to do uh, for process, progress tracking. That is kind of required tools we need for this workflow. You can see we have some critical reminders. So each user needs a unique uh, unique invite link. And yeah, you can basically set this up uh, as detailed as you want. But, uh, and I can see you also have, I have my uh, welcome email here, right? I think it's up here, yeah. This is my welcome email. So I put basically everything I want the agent to do in this workflow.md. And yeah, we can take a look at the viral shorts workflow afterwards. But now let's see if we can get the agent to invite me. So I'm just gonna start with here in Claude code, read the workflow.md. Okay, so you can see we read the workflow.md and now we can kind of select our, um, what kind of workflow we want to do here. Usually I just say do both. Uh, but for now, we're gonna do the Discord invite management workflow. So I'm just gonna say execute Discord uh, workflow, right? Okay, that is basically all I have to do. 
Okay, so you can see now we are querying the database after 109. Uh, I had to delete a couple, so you can see the next one we found was 112. We got the email, aihandchris2 at gmail.com, perfect. Now we're gonna create a unique Discord invite for this. And we're gonna send that uh, welcome email. Yeah, we created a new Discord invite, perfect. So this is a one-time use. And uh, now we're gonna send the welcome email to Chris. And you can see already how much time this is saving me. Uh, yeah, we are using the send mail MCP to do that. This is via Gmail. And we're gonna upload the workforce status to set this to 112. Uh, so that is gonna be the next thing we're gonna check, right? And uh, I checked the database and that is correct because we had to skip uh, 110 and 111. So perfect, so you can see how much time that saved me. And the email uh, is already sent, so I guess we can go check out my email to see if we got it. Yeah, we have a new email here from AIH and Chris, so you can see. Hey, you have been selected. Welcome to the 9Bray Invite Only Discord channel. Follow this link to join. Perfect. Very excited to see what you bring to the table. And yeah, best regards, Chris. So, perfect. This is working very good. And this saves me a lot of time, right? Because this takes some time if I'm going to do it manually. I have to go into the database. I have to get the email address. I have to go to my Gmail. I have to go to log into Discord, create the invite link. So, I would say this, this took maybe 20 seconds, 30 seconds. So, I would say it takes about five minutes if I'm going to do it myself. So this saves me a lot of time. Um, yeah, this is kind of the work, the first workflow. And if we have more invites, this is also done autonomous. So if you have like five new signups, everything is done in like one batch. We don't have to do it one by one, but it just creates everything in one batch. So that saves me a lot of time. Uh, but now I think we're gonna look at the next uh, workflow and that is gonna be the marketing automation so where we're gonna research a topic we're gonna write a script generate a video and edit it and upload it in kind of one go so uh, i think we're just gonna dive into that i'm gonna show you how this work and what kind of results you can expect for something like this so here i want to take a bit uh, more look at the workflow md because this is quite important right so here we have a step-by-step -step execution guide for the, this workflow so you can see the first step is gonna be to do some uh, research and topic selection so we're gonna do research and we're gonna use the web search and web fetch. Uh, I think it's just called fetch, but uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, the second part is that we have script generation. Here I have a marketing MD file that kind of has the formula. So we're gonna do a setup, a hook, escalation, climax, and a CTA. This is kind of, uh, yeah, the formula. We have a target audience. So this is gonna be Gen C, we have the age group meme internet culture references and we go kind of into detail here uh, the script should only have spoken words we have a step uh, three that is going to be the voiceover generation we have a couple of voices and where we're going to save this so you can see i go into a very in detail how we're going to do this and on step 3.5 we're going to do a dynamic scene count calculation because we want uh, as many scenes as the voiceover is so this kind of matches so we have some examples here if the voiceover is 30 seconds, we need six scenes times five seconds, so 30 seconds total. But if the scene is 27 seconds, we still need five to cover that. Uh, yeah, that is kind of that part. Uh, step four is scene planning and image generation. We use Imagen 4 to create the first frame in each uh, image. Uh, and then we kind of come to our style prompt options. We have three core prompts. We have core prompt one, that is like an Vojak MS Paint style. Core prompt two is a deep fried meme. And three is what I'm gonna to do today. That is kind of the South Park style. And we're gonna do, yeah, we have some uh, video scene generation. We're gonna do some fast cut engagement style. Uh, this doesn't work perfect, but it's fine. And the final step, or the step, step six, is the assembly of the video. Here you can see we are using FFmpeg to edit the video. We need some background music. We're gonna add the ninth brain CTA and mix the background music clean up some temp files, and we're gonna do the YouTube upload by using the MCP YouTube server. So I think you kind of get a bit of a better overview when we do this. So I'm, we're just gonna head back to Cloud Code. So I'm just gonna say, now let's execute uh, the video workflow. Let's do a voice ID 2, core prompt 3, and let's do a Bitcoin story. I just wanna do that. Uh, crypto is kind of in the, in the mix again. It's been doing really well lately, so I think that's a good topic for the video, right? 
I'll execute the wireless search workflow using voice ID 2, Corporal 3, that's going to be the South Park style, a Bitcoin story. And now we get kind of our big to-do list here, right? So you can follow along here. We're going to do some research. You can see we do the web search, Bitcoin trends, making money. Yeah, we're just going to search some Bitcoin stuff. And I'm going to see what we get back here for kind of the, uh, yeah, the script. Uh, it doesn't really matter too much now, but uh, I'm just going to let this run. And I'm going to take you back at some interesting point in the workflow here because this is going to take some time. I would say it's fully autonomous, but it's going to take some time, maybe 10 minutes total, something like that. But I can go now do other stuff while the agent is working in the background, right? Okay, so we did some search. Now we're probably going to do some fetch to get some context. We're going to write the script and we're going to read marketing MD. This is our shorts formula. Yes. I haven't really set up everything to be autonomous yet, but uh, I might fix that later. Uh, but now uh, I'm just going to let this run and I'm going to take you back at some interesting points when we have some images. I'm going to show you some of that. Okay, so we have generated the voiceover now. Uh, let's see how long it was. Yeah, we're going to check that now by using FF Probe. So it was 37, 36 seconds. So we need eight South Park style images for the scenes to kind of match the 37 uh, second. Uh, okay, so now we're going to start generating some images, but if we go over here now, you can see we have a voiceover, so it's 37 seconds. We can listen to a few seconds of it. This broke college kid had zero dollars and massive student debt, so he sold his textbooks, bought Bitcoin at 100k. Yeah, you get the point, right? But now we are starting to generate images, so this is the first image we're going to use for our video. Here's the second scene, you can see it's a South Park style. Uh, I sold his, uh, yeah, you kind of get the point here. So it's going to be interesting to see. This is scene three. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here, but let's see how this turns out in the end. Because, yeah, we are generating still images. And after we have all the images now, this is pretty fast. We're going to start generating the videos and that's going to take some time, right? Because we have uh, eight scenes to generate uh, with five seconds each. So yeah, that is kind of how it works. It's kind of hands off if you ask me, we don't have to do much. I'm just going to let this run now and I'm going to come back when we have generated all the clips uh, for this uh, short form uh, marketing content. Okay, so now you can see we have all the clips we need. So now we're going to use a bash command to kind of, yeah, we're going to merge this together. So I want to proceed. We are using FFmpeg now. From our workflow, we have the command. Okay, so we got some errors here, but let's see if we can fix that. We should be able to do. Let's try again. Yeah, that was a success. You can see now we have a temporary video that's kind of going to be every clip merged together. Next step now is of course going to be to uh, actually generate uh, the background music for the video, right? Then we got to do the ninth brain uh, call to action and the logo. We're going to mix some music and then we're going to upload this. So you can see now we are using the music MCP server. We're leaving the prompt, low file, 80 sin, chill, Bitcoin crypto vibes, okay? And we get the background music. We're gonna mix this in together with the video at like 20% volume or something. And the final step is gonna be to upload this to our YouTube channel. And we're gonna log the summary for the next part so we don't, uh, yeah, pick the same. And we're gonna do the cleanup. So let's see how this goes now. Yeah, we save the music, perfect. Okay, now we are adding our ninth brain call to action and the logo. And the final step uh, is going to be to upload this to YouTube. So if we look at our YouTube channel now, we only have these two videos. So let's see now if we can upload this with success. Yes, this kid's Bitcoin strategy is absolutely insane. Okay, <laughs> that was the title. We have some description, some hashtags here. Perfect. And we're gonna log the video summary in our workflow MD so we don't do the exact same video next time. Yes, you can see we do some quick logging here. We have the URL, all right, perfect. If we go here now and refresh, you can see this video comes up here, perfect. We have scheduled, I think it's five minutes in between. Uh, we're gonna look at this. Uh, so I'm gonna just put it like something like this before we publish, okay. Okay, so now we're gonna clean up. Yeah, we're gonna do that. We're gonna remove some of some. So just clean up some files we don't need. So that's the temporary files and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, and we're gonna remove the images. That's fine. Okay, we did some nice cleanup here. This means that everything is ready for our next time. We're gonna generate the video. 
And that should be it. So I next think the next part now is gonna watch our final results. Of course, this is not gonna be perfect, but it's pretty good, I think, for being fully autonomous. So yeah, final video file is here. So we can just head over to YouTube here and we can click on this. You can see we have, yeah, we have this. Uh, yeah, this looks pretty good. So yeah, why don't we watch it? Not here, but let's click on here. I'm gonna put on the sound and uh, let's see how this turned out. Broke college kid had zero dollars and massive student debt. So he sold his textbooks, bought Bitcoin at 100K and immediately put his laptop in the microwave. Everyone called him crazy as Bitcoin started crashing. His friends roasted him harder than his melted laptop. But this absolute unit had a plan. He set a buy order for every crash, turned his phone off and went full hermit mode for six months. When he finally checked, Bitcoin hit 150K. Was this the most Sigma move ever or just pure luck? If you want to learn more, go to the ninthbrain.com to apply to join our community. Okay, so I wouldn't say that's perfect, but it's pretty good, right? Because we have uh, the, the timing on the voiceover is a bit off. Uh, we might have to do something about that, but I don't think there's much we can do at the moment. But I'm pretty happy. And if you look at kind of the videos we have generated before, let's take a look at, let's say, this one. You can see this, uh, this video has crossed a thousand views now, and it's still kind of going up. So you can see we are uh, doing some kind of marketing here with shorts. And of course, we kind of have the engagement at the end. It can go to the ninth brain. So you can see we are generating views with these videos, even though it's not that many, but it's like very easy marketing for our community, right? So yeah, that is pretty much how this works. And I'm super happy. So just my final thoughts. I think this is super interesting. And uh, like I said, if you want to join the ninth brain, you can go to the ninthbrain.com and you will get access to kind of our... Yeah, this is kind of our Discord where we kind of share, we have some different channels here, we kind of share everything we know and uh, it's just getting started. I think we are about 60 members now, but hopefully we will get more that how, yeah, you can see all of these people talking about how, what kind of skills they are working. You can see Dan here, he has been writing the AI web as well and he has got a lot to share. So that's super interesting and when we, more people we are, the more we can help each other out. We also have an X account where we can share people's projects and stuff. So yeah, that was basically it. Super interesting. And I can see how much support Cloud Code has gotten lately. And it's getting very popular online, right? So sometimes I run into this overload. So if I build this out even more, I might consider going up to the $200 uh, yeah, subscription to get more usage. But for now, I'm just going to keep it as I have it. But uh, yeah, super interesting workflow. And it really helps to work on your MD files. I also have a cloud MD file, uh, but the workflow MD is working out pretty good for me. So just be careful, write everything. Just get cloud to help you write these workflow files. That's That works out pretty good. And just keep log of what you do and you will get good results, I think. So these tools are not only, cloud code is not only for writing code. You can use them for things like this to do automated things. So yeah, hope you enjoyed it, like I said. Check out the ninth brain and I'll see you again hopefully very soon.